So hi, Microbe Hunter here again and today I would like to talk about buying microscopes for, the, for very young children. Um, so around the age of six years uh, and uh, I would like to start off uh, so often with a question from one of my viewers. Being a mother of a six-year-old very curious twin boys, I've been searching online for a suitable first-time microscope. I wish I knew what I had got myself into. It's a jungle out there and I was hoping that maybe you would be willing to share some of your advice on which microscopes would be fine for six-year-old boys. I'm sure my boys will immediately start running and bring in all kinds of stuff like dead insects, pond water, leaves, um, a strain of hair, a drop of blood and so on. But if I understand right, no microscope can handle all of these things. Apart from that, we don't want to spend too high a price, but we do want something that will motivate their curiosity. I've uh, seen microscopes for around 40 euros, like the, and then there was a, uh, yeah, a brand here and a specific microscope. But will it do or is it a waste of money? And which type of microscope is best for starters, a stereo, biological or digital? I'm, so I'm at a loss, really. Well, thank you for the question. I think uh, that's why I'm here. Um, and I have to admit one thing. I wish that all questions were that easy to answer because there is a very straightforward and simple answer. You have to get yourself or for your boys a so-called a stereo microscope. I have a very strong opinion about that. Um, and the microscope that you have uh, pasted uh, in uh, my in the email, in the link, um, is actually uh, a toy microscope. It's a compound toy microscope, which is mostly made of plastic. Now, this does not automatically mean that they're of bad quality, but I consider them generally to not be very suitable for very young children. They have to be already a little bit older. Um, generally, there is this saying in the microscopy community that you should spend a little bit more and not get plastic toy microscopes. Uh, but then again, I understand that nowadays in the yeah in the year 2020, the quality of even those devices might be better than many years ago. But generally, go um, and get yourself um, a reasonably priced uh, stereo microscope. I will now tell you why I think so, um, and uh, also yeah why I think uh, it's actually not a microscope for children that you're going to get. Let me explain later. So first of all, for those of you who are completely new to the topic, uh, and maybe you are a parent or grandparent that would like to buy microscopes for your children, grandchildren, there are essentially two types of light microscopes around. I've got both of them here. I have to admit that they are a little bit of already not maybe suitable for children anymore because they're already a little bit uh, more expensive. But the concept, I just want to illustrate the concept. So one of them um, are so-called stereo microscopes. That's the one that I have over here. Okay, so um, this one was around the 400 to 500 euro microscope um, of course they're all available much cheaper but uh, the important thing here is the following if you want to look at an object any object insect uh, plant material this pencil here <laughs> uh, all you have to do is, is you take the object and you put it yeah on the stage of the microscope you switch on the light and then you look at it. And what you will get is, is you will get a three-dimensional image because the two eyes will receive a different picture. Um, there are two eyepieces here and you will get um, at a comparatively low magnification, so around from 20 to 40 times total magnification, you will get a stereoscopic image. Now many people say, well, that's only 20 to 40 times and the other microscopes uh, like the one over here or then the one over here, they can go up uh, 400 times. It's so much more. I'm going to see much more with those. No, 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 you cannot compare that. Okay. Um, even though the magnification is lower, the subjective impression that you get is, I would say, more spectacular because you actually see the insect jump into your eyes. Okay, it's the stereoscopic impression that you get. And um, another advantage of stereo microscopes is, is that you actually, the children get an upright image. So this means the way I put the object in under the um, yeah, uh, microscope, this is the same orientation that you're going to see it using the eyepieces. The reason is, is because there are prisms in here that turn the, uh, the image upright again. Why is this important? Because this actually means that when you are actually manipulating the specimen, when you're moving it around, um, you're actually seeing that, yeah, you can actually manipulate the specimens. You don't have to think around that the whole thing is actually upside down because it's not. Yeah? So there, this means that with stereo microscopes, you actually have this interactivity. 
you, you catch an insect, you put it on, on here and you look at it. And um, if it kind of moves off to the side, you push it back and you're actually able to see just like with a big magnifying glass. Um, and this basically means that uh, it's much more suitable for children because the image is not only less abstract, you can um, interact with the object much better. Um, and also, um, you do not require any specimen preparation. You just take the object, you collect the object, you put it under the microscope, usually on a petri dish or a small dish, so that you can um, move it around more easily. And then you look at it. So there, it's it's quite easy and straightforward. And this allows uh, parents and grandparents to um, incorporate the microscope yeah, into your everyday activity more easily. You you go on a walk, you collect some I don't know birds feathers or some leaves, or some I don't know yeah mushrooms that you find. You put them under the microscope um, and you look at them. Okay. Um, so in that sense, it's um, I would say. It doesn't require any specimen preparation, any complex specimen preparations. Uh, you see a piece of dirt on your fingernail and you look at it. Okay, um, So in that sense, um, it's more convenient for children. Um, and uh, with those uh, compound microscopes like those over here, you need to work with the microscope slides. Of course, you can also put microscope slides here Okay, um, on this one. Um, this one, by the way, does not have any light coming from the bottom, only from the top. But there are also stereo microscopes that have light from the bottom. It depends on what uh, model you buy. But here you need, here you need a, a microscope slides and the object has to be very small. You get an, a, a picture that's um, turned on its head. It doesn't really matter because you it's so small anyway that you don't know what's right side, about, right side up and what's flipped around. But the image is quite abstract. Um, so um, you don't have, yeah, it's kind of distanced uh, in, in that sense. I mean, okay, then you're able to see maybe the red blood cells as round little things. Uh -huh, interesting, that's it. Yeah, um, but uh, if you try to put a whole insect on here, you're not. What are you going to see? You're not going to see anything because it's going to be all black. Okay, it's way too large because it magnifies much more, so you're not able to see the whole insect. Here, it's something different. So, in that sense, um, I highly recommend that, uh, especially for young children, years six and so on, um, if you get a microscope, go for a stereo microscope and not a compound microscope and I know that many companies manufacture compound microscopes for children they're all made of plastic I know they go more into toys um, um, it's not that I'm against those devices really um, it, it, because they're made of plastic and so on I know there's some microscopists out there that frown because it's made of plastic that is not my main criticism I would say my main criticism is, is rather more the, the the fact that you need to do a little bit of specimen preparation and and um, it's not maybe so easy to integrate into the everyday life, okay? Um, I don't know how to put this into other words, really. Um, and uh, it's probably more for older children, I would say, okay? Um, so my advice is, is uh, go for stereo microscopes. However, um, yeah, they cost a little bit more. I mean, 40 euros. Mm -hmm. I know I've seen some stereo microscopes actually that cost around 50 euros. I would rather buy that than a toy microscope. Okay, um, so and now to my the other point that I wanted to make. Who are you buying the microscope for? You say, oh, okay, I'm for my children. No, you're not. <laughs> it's I think really important to realize as parents and grandparents, you're also buying them to a certain extent for yourself because you have to learn how to use my, the microscope yourself so that you can teach your children or grandchildren. Um, it's not going to work uh, simply buying a microscope and giving it to the child and then hope that the child is now able to look at the nat nature and the environment all on its on his or herself. Okay, they need guidance. Um, you need to go out with them, collect some leaves, collect some insects, whatever. Right? Um, you need uh, to plan some easy projects with them. So I would say that uh, if you invest a little bit more into a stereo microscope, that actually also is able to give you a high, slightly more of a higher quality, then um, I would say this also motivates parents a little bit more to get involved here. Then also where I think you have to keep in mind that uh, even you as a parent or grandparent will be using the microscope. Um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's interesting, seriously. Um, there should be also something in, in it for, for um, yeah, for the adults here. Okay, so I want to give a talk about here. Stereo, biological or digital? Yeah, I know there are a couple of companies that sell so-called digital microscopes that have built-in cameras. Now, what I would actually advise is, is that you still get yourself a stereo microscope and then maybe with a mobile phone adapter, you can always take pictures. Uh, so uh, actually, that's much more convenient. You can document uh, things like this as well. But I would 
probably do that um, instead of uh, otherwise you end up spending money for a built-in digital camera and uh, IT devices generally um, you do have a much uh, if you get yourself a decent stereo microscope it's going to retain its value much longer okay um, now now you listed a few of the um, specimens here um, dead insects you sure stereo microscope pond water yeah here this is getting already a little difficult it depends a little bit i mean you can the, the, the larger um, uh, animal life like like uh, larvae of, uh, of mosquitoes and so on you can of course watch with a stereo microscope but paramecia and those single-celled organisms indeed they are better with a compound microscope i have to admit that but i would say wait with that a little bit yeah leaves a stereo microscope a strain of hair stereo microscope a drop of blood ah red blood cells you need a compound microscope again okay um so you see the different uh different specimens have their own preferred microscope so to say um ideally you get both of course sooner or later but i know that this is not uh, yeah not very helpful as a comment right now um yeah so for starters stereo biological stereo or compound biological microscope um, depends a lot on what you want to observe i would say if the chil children are a little bit older i would say let's say 10 11 years old then i pro then then i would say probably a compound microscope is already something that's uh, getting more uh, useful the reason why i do not recommend compound microscope also also for younger children is because because it's more complex to use you have to uh, learn how to use uh, the uh, the coarse and fine focus how to change uh, the magnification here um, you have you have to know how to operate the mechanical stage there's simply too many things and too many buttons to turn you have to yeah operate the microscope in a certain way that you actually get a picture you actually see a picture and uh, focusing and everything is going to be so much easier with a stereo microscope okay so i highly recommend this i know i'm repeating myself um yeah um so i would say uh, this is pretty much uh, it and uh yeah um, if you have any comments if any other viewers have any comments concerning this uh, then yeah please do post uh, your comments uh, in the comment section below happy microbe hunting as always see you around next time bye bye